電話をお持ちの方は電源をお切りになられるかマナーモードの方の設定をしていただきますようよろしくお願いいたしますそれでは2015年12月13日主の十字架クリスチャンセンター東京アントキ教会スイツ第二礼拝を始めてまいりたいと思いますそれではお祈りいたします愛する天のお父様皆をあがめますお一人お一人をこの第二礼拝に集めてくださり共にこの場で礼拝できるように恵みをありがとうございますさらに私たちが礼と誠をもってあなたを礼拝し褒めたたえることができますよう助け導いてくださいまたお一人お一人のうちにあなたの恵み祝福をお与えくださいお願いいたしますまずはじめにあたり感謝してイエス様のお名前によってお祈りいたしますアーメンそれでは初めに賛美を持って主を褒めたたいてまいりましょうそれではお立ちになる方ともに立ち上がって賛美の時を持っていきたいと思います感謝と賛美をいつも捧げよう主が描いたストーリー計り知りた
When problems are allowed to happen to you, stand in faith and stand in the word of God. When you um, exercise your faith and give thanks to God, that problem and the wall in front of you will be destroyed, said the Lord. As heaven is higher than the earth, the will of God is much higher than your thoughts, said the Lord. So don't limit the plan of God according to your thoughts. Um, uh, try to understand what the Lord has for you, said the Lord. Let's sing one more praise. Let's clap our hands to the Lord. Give thanks to Him. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this praise and worship. Thank you for the words of prophecy. I pray that you will lead this service with your abundant blessings. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Please be seated. Now, let's have a time of individual prayers. Let's quiet our hearts before the Lord and have fellowship with Him in prayer individually. Let's finish and sing one more praise to God. Oh, my. 
それでは主の祈りを共に祈っていきたいと思います。Now, the the 初めての方はモニターの方をご覧ください。主の祈り、天に増します。Our, 我らの父よ、ヘガワクは皆をあがめさせたまえ、幾人をやらせたまえ、御心の天になるごとく、地にも出させたまえ。Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We now have Pastor Paul Akimoto lead the Holy Communion. Let's have the Holy Communion. The Holy Communion is to proclaim the death of Jesus in our church. You are welcome to join the ceremony. Even though you are not a member of this church, only if you have been, if you have, uh, if you believe in the Lord Jesus as your Savior, and you have been baptized or you are wishing to be baptized in the near future, if you are watching the service on the internet, and if you believe in the Lord Jesus as your Savior, and you have been baptized or you are wishing to be baptized in the near future. Please prepare bread and wine or grape juice for yourselves and join us. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this Holy Communion. Uh, let's pray individually, and if you have sins in your hearts, please confess them to God. Jesus took bread and gave thanks and gave it and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is my body. Take it, this is my body. Let's take the body of Christ. 
Jesus said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Let's take the blood of Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this blessing of the Holy Communion. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. We now have a time of offerings and give thanksgiving to the Lord. Let's offer unto him as we sing, seek ye first together. Now, let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for these offerings. We now have offered a part of what you had given us. I pray that you will sanctify them and use them for the work of your kingdom. I also pray that you will bless each one of those who have offered abundantly. With thanksgiving, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Let me read a scripture for today's message. Today's message will be from the first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse from 16 to 18. The first Thessalonians chapter 5, 
verse from 16 to 18. Let me read. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Today, Pastor Paul Akimoto will bring us a message from this passage after special singing and congregational praise and worship. Good morning, we are Echo Kiss, the Ash Sing, Psalm 126.
全力でまた上げてください。Let's stand up.
don't hurry, just stand in my word. You experience the depth of my word and the blessing of my word and complete my living, said the Lord. You will see and experience my blessings, said the Lord. The Lord has given you a word saying the revival started and the work of God will guarantee the general society deeper. Follow my leading, said the Lord. I will open my way and advance my work, and, and the spring of my water will flow, said the Lord. The work of praise and worship we expand in Japan and the foreign countries. So ad advance this work by faith, said the Lord. We need to uh, complete my leading and you will see my glory. The Lord has given you the word saying that the Lord has raised up a praise band. This word will come true and by this word God will lead a lot of people to be saved as he will destroy uh, spiritual words and shackles of shackles for non-believers, said the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the words of prophecy. Thank you for the special singing. We are going to learn from your words. We pray that you, the living God, will lead us in this service. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. To those who are watching this service on the internet, hello, good morning and good evening. In our church, we give a tithe offering of all the offerings that we have collected to other churches and Christian organizations. Let's give thanks to God for this tithe offering. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for filling our needs richly. We now would like to give a tithe offering of 11,860 uh, 11, yen to other churches and Christian organizations. We pray that you will use this for your work through them. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. We, have we now have a new one-minute video. Let's watch it.
良い、健常の形、神の国で生き、神の国で生活できる。劣ることも、得意ことも、ないとあるので、結婚はないと思われます。それでは、いつ御霊の体になるのでしょうか。御霊の体に変わることを復活と言います。復活は、聖書の時、地上再臨の直後、そして、おそらく千年王国後の段階と思われます。私たちは、復活によって完全な体すなわち御霊に属する体となり永遠の生活に入っていくのですそれではまた、えー、っとイエス・キリストはですねこの世に来られた時に33年の人生を歩んでいたんですねそのにですねイエス・キリストの At that time, his body was just like ours. At that time, he had, a, he had a physical body, a physical body of blood and flesh. The, the body of flesh and body is a kind of body that we have. That Get old, gets old, but Jesus was crucified and then resurrected when he rose from the dead. He, he, was, he was risen to a new body. As we watched this one minute video,、uh, he New body was totally different. He had a spiritual body. If, if we compare this to teeth, it's like,、uh, it's like from having a milk teeth to adult teeth. So when we resurrect, it, when we resurrect our body, we'll be changed into a spiritual body. Apostle Paul also said that he wants to take off his body and he wants to put on a new body. That means he, wants to, he wanted to put on a spiritual body. And when will we have this spiritual body?、Um, the seven year tribulation will be coming. And this period will be divided into the first half and the latter half. And rapture will take place just in the middle of this seven year tribulation.、Uh, when Uh, some Christians will be lifted up in the air at the time of rapture, and they will be changed into a spiritual body.、Uh, our physical body of flesh and blood,、uh, it, will, uh, it will perish, and when we die, our spirit will go to heaven. So, heaven is the world where people live in spirit. They don't have a body. In this world, we eat and we eat in this body, in this,、uh, in this physical body of、uh, blood and flesh. But in heaven, we will not eat. By the way, When rapture happens, spiritual body will be given to the saints who went to heaven before that time. So, Pastor Miki and Pastor Suga, who have just gone to heaven, at the time of rapture, they'll be given a spiritual body. And if we live on this earth at the time of rapture, and if we 
we can be lifted up in the air at the time of rapture. If we are as we are in this physical body of blood and flesh, if we are lifted up in the air, we will bump into the ceiling of a room. But that will not happen because in an instance, at the time of rapture, will be changed into a spiritual body and so we will go through a ceiling of a room as we are lifted up in the air by, by the Lord to heaven. You know, well, our body is, is getting old and getting worse, but we will be given another body, which is spiritual body, that we'll be able to live forever in heaven. So let's expect God. Um, by the way, we will send a team to Cambodia from December 28 to 31st. Anybody can participate in this team. We will visit our orphanage in Cambodia. We will have fellowship with the orphans. We will have two meetings with them. This Cambodian orphanage is our church. This online Tokyo, they are they are they belong to this Tokyo Antioch Church, church by online. And last summer we went there on the on the team and we had the sukiyaki party but we made a mistake because well, we really didn't have a very good sukiyaki because the meat in Cambodia was hard. So this time we, we are going to have another kind of party with the children. We also go to a theme park with them. And we are expecting that by this theme, God will prepare this orphanage to get into a new stage in a spiritual sense. Uh, when we join the outreach, you'll be blessed uh, by God. So if you are burdened to participate in this team, please pray. And there will also be another outreach to the United States from March 28th to April the 2nd. This is a say thanks, praise, and revival camp. And this outreach is, has a significant meaning too. The Lord tells us to uh, keep having this camp in Los Angeles. And we have prayer sessions there and have meetings. Uh, so if you, you would like to pray, if you would like to have enough time praying, uh, please join this team as you have as you pray during this outreach, uh, you, you, you probably have your life changed. Also, we have a, a gospel showcase during this outreach, and uh, some church bands will participate in this gospel showcase. So if you are a member of any church band and if you are burdened to join this gospel showcase, please come and join this outreach. Yesterday, we had a, a, we had a farewell meeting for Pastor Paul Mickey and Pastor Samuel Suga. Pastor Mickey was uh, really uh, had, had a bright character, and he was uh, he, he was engaged in a lot of sports, and when we climbed up 
the Mount Sinai. He, he was strong and he could climb the mount uh, and he could even uh, carry another person on his back as he climbed the mount. And he was also a member of a church band called Shines uh, because he was born and his head shine, his head shone. Even though they, this church band didn't was not very good at singing, but they got very popular. Pastor Same Suga was a quiet man, and he experienced uh, mira miraculous works of healing by God because he suffered from stroke about 10 years ago. And uh, as I met him at that time, uh, he was kind of he was in a kind of critical condition and he said that he could see spirits around him and uh, wh when somebody says that kind of thing i assume that that person is going to die very soon and they they just do but pastor samuel was healed and he was able to uh, stand up from his wheelchair in Hakuba camp s several years ago. The work of the miraculous work of God was, was done to him. And he joined the last outreach to Israel together with us. And we had a time of worship to the Lord in front of the Golden Gate, and we also had prayer sessions at the top of Mount Olives. And Pastor Samuel was with us. You remember a Bible passage in which uh, Jacob uh, went to sleep and he had a dream of, uh, of a ladder stood uh, toward heaven and people or, or angels, they climbed down and up the ladder to heaven and over to the earth or down to the earth. And Jacob said in scripture that this place is a gate to heaven. And what I think is that I think my olives is a gate to heaven because Jesus ascended to heaven from my olives. So when we think of a gate to heaven, uh, we we think it must be it may be my olives. And but the Bible also said that Jesus uh, will come down. Jesus will return on the top of Mount Olives. So if we try to uh, try to see where the gate to heaven is, I think that is Mount Olives. And Pastor Samuel Suga went to heaven from there. So. But we are going to see him and Pastor Miki in heaven. Uh, when we had a farewell meeting for them yesterday, uh, one relative of Pastor Suga came and joined us. And he is a famous musician, and he listened to my message seriously, and uh, he uh, accepted his said as soon as prayer with us and he raised his hand when I asked the congregation who who prayed that prayer he raised his hand so let's give thanks to God for that and yesterday uh, several church bands of a church had performances in a Christian book called Oasis in Shinjuku. And also there was another church band who ministered in another denomination. 
the Lord has a plan for praise and worship. So if you are a member of a church band, grasp promises of God for you, and if uh, you follow God, you will see His glory. Now let's get going to the Bible. The First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 says, Be joyful always. Uh, being joyful is important. And also, it's o the Bible also says give thanks always. Why are we to be joyful always? Because God gives us the best in various difficulties and hardships. Lord will help us. So being joyful is, uh, is exercising your faith. Don't uh, let your feeling just flow from you. Usually we have a negative emotion when we have difficulties. But the Bible says that there's much difference between when we uh, have a depressed feeling and when we have a joyful feeling. But in, in our emotion, we can't be joyful always. But in our will, by our will, we can rejoice. Even something sad happens to you, uh, let's rejoice. People might tell you that uh, we have a great look in our eyes, but that's okay. Uh, we can let's rejoice by our will. And the Bible also said that we should give thanks in all circumstances. You know, when toward the end of a year, there's a lottery of one billion yen. And they, they sell various kinds of lottery. And it seems that the prices for lottery vary every year. But one thing I have realized is that uh, when I became a Christian and found out that we were able to pray, I thought, oh, prayer uh, was really something. And being able to pray uh, is more than winning, winning money in the lottery. By prayer, uh, we experience special blessing of God. So prayer, praying is very important. And prayer will bring you uh, blessings. When you have, a, have some money in saving, and if you use, uh, if you withdraw uh, money from your saving, and if you use it, you, you can be rich. So why don't we use this saving called thanksgiving? Uh, why don't we use and exercise this? These three things are put together in this passage of the Bible, being joyful always and pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. So let's pra practice all of these three for, for something that happens to us. And in our thoughts, we wonder why God is allowing this to happen to me, or why some difficulty is being allowed to me. But God is planning to uh, manifest His special blessings through those difficulties, and God is going to open up special blessings for you. One thing that I was surprised at after I became a Christian was I experienced a 
I experienced many, many victories through problems and difficulties. Uh, when, uh, you, you might have heard about these things many times before, but some people, uh, you, you received this teaching and you put it into your heart. And then if you exercise your faith, you will experience God's work too. When we give thanks to God for a bad thing or for a difficulty, uh, we will see His blessing. But sometimes uh, in a short period of time, we never know why, uh, why, why, why something will turn into good for me. For us. But when we spend a longer period of time, we will clearly see how, what kind of good uh, it will come out of, of the difficulties you are now experiencing. Well, in a long, in a short period of time, you may just experience 30% of the good that the Lord has for you. But in the long period of, of time, you see more of His goodness. I think this is a great, wonderful blessing. And because as we live, the longer we live and the longer we spend our Christian walk, we will see more and more how the Lord has turned everything good for us. But the one thing we need to be careful is uh, a lot of Christians, they just, they just see things. Uh, uh, they just see things. Uh, they just try to understand the seven-year tribulation, but that's not right because we have to see the kingdom of God that will come after the seven-year tribulation. Bible uh, writes very interesting things about the kingdom of God. You know, Pastor Mickey and Pastor Samuel Suda went to heaven, but it's not that they are just taking a rest, uh, sitting on a leaf of a flower. Uh, the Bible says uh, in the passage uh, when Jesus said that uh, when some somebody finishes his work by ruling one town on this earth, Jesus said that he will be given two towns in heaven to rule. Uh, after the seven year tribulation and when we get into the kingdom of God, um, many, many things will be be made clear to us about how all those things uh, happen to to make all things all things work together for good. Well, as I look back my uh, family line, uh, our relatives or our ancestors they uh, built some famous temples in Tokyo. And before I became a Christian, I did a lot of idol worship. I just did what I wanted to do. I declared that there was no God, and I tried to persuade other people to believe that there was no God. But I became a Christian, and I found out that uh, things, things that I experienced before I became a Christian, God took all those things and made them for my good. Example, 
I used to like singing. I was not going to be a singer, but I really like singing. And now I'm a pastor, and I sing praises. And I give a message 20 times a week, and my voice is strong. Uh, a professional announcer who worked for NHK told me that he, she was surprised to hear my voices, and she complimented me, saying that I have a strong voice. And I, I used to like literature, but after I became a Christian, God told me to stop being involved in writing literature, so I stopped. But uh, that was made uh, for my good. As I now minister as a pastor, and I also used to be sick, but God healed me. And now I have a healing ministry. I have written some books about healing. So my experience of being sick, that was also made good for, our, for my good. Whatever things that I did while I was not a Christian. All those things were made good for my good. I used to try. I used to like trips. I used to have snacks while I used to read uh, travel magazines while I was having a snack. And now I I take a trip always. I have flown by an airplane 2,000 or 3,000 times. Tomorrow I will also take an airplane. So you can also see, you will also see that all things that, you, you, that happen to you will return into your good. And when you look at things, continue to look at things for a long time. Well, when, when you spend a long period of time, you will see how things that happened to you many, many years ago, uh, God took it for your good. But you need to uh, have a, have a, have a, you need to also have a point of view, or point of view of everlasting, where we live uh, forever, uh, we will see uh, in the future, as we live forever, that a thing that happened to us, God took it for our good. Uh, recently, uh, some Christians, they wrote testimonies about going to heaven. Well, they say that heaven is a very good place. They also say that in heaven, people are made young. So we will not None of them who said who, who said they went to heaven, none of them said that people get old in heaven. Well, Pastor Miki, when he, <laughs> when he went to heaven, you know, he was bold. He was bold. So I wonder uh, if he will have hair on his head in heaven. And there was a, a book called Heaven is Real. Heaven is for Real. That was uh, the best seller in <laughs> New York Times. And that, and that, that also that sold maybe uh, 10 million copies in the United States. And a movie was made out of this book. 
In this uh, testimony, a five-year-old boy called Carlton, he went to heaven for a short period of time. When he went to heaven, he saw his elder sister. He said that to his parents when he came back to the earth. And that the pa the his parents said, you have your sister here on this earth. Uh, but Colton said, no, uh, he met a sister who, who had died in the mother's womb. And that sister told him in heaven that she didn't have a name because she came to heaven before she was born. And the sister, he was so glad to see Colton and she never she hugged him and never let him go. Well, the Bible doesn't clearly say about uh, unborn children, uh, so I don't know if they will really live in heaven, but I think there is a possibility. I believe that uh, God uh, gives a human being a spirit uh, in mother's um, womb. And so well, uh, I have three children, but we, we had the fourth child. Who, who died in the womb of my wife before he or she was born. We named him or her Isaac. So uh, this Isaac uh, must be seeing my father or my father-in-law who went to heaven. Well, you might, you might, you might say that that that's not, that might not be true, but I think there is a possibility because I believe that God uh, gives us the best. So that will make us excited about going to heaven because uh, we might be able to see those children, humble children, so when we live with God everlasting, we will see how things on the earth uh, have been made for our good. Uh, King David had an, uh, had an adultery with Bathsheba, even though he had a lot of wives. And he should have been sentenced to death by the sin. But King David and Bathsheba, they repented. So if you committed a sin uh, and you repented, the Lord will forgive you. If you uh, repent properly, God will forgive you. And the King David and Bathsheba uh, repented of the sins and they followed God. Uh, King David uh, gave thanks to God. He is one of the main characters in the Old Testament who gave thanks to God. Then the Lord gave uh, Solomon to the King David and Bathsheba. King David had, um, had many children, but the, but the Lord made Solomon his success, successor, successor, the next king. The king Solomon was given a special uh, calling. Uh, the King David and Bathsheba uh, repented before God in a proper way. 
people, when they realize that they committed a sin, some people might, some people uh, committed suicide. But the King David and Bathsheba, he, they dealt with the sin uh, in the right way. One point is follow God, obey God. Obeying God is very important. When I entered an evangelical seminary, they told me, they say that I was a good student, and they were glad that, I had, that they had me as a student. But after I became a charismatic Christian, uh, they started to persecute me. One student, they led this persecution, and they, uh, he, he, he had hand in hand with the teachers. What kind of persecution I received was that they never, any student never talked to me, and they didn't like my company, and they slandered me and criticized me. If you have somebody who criticizes you at all times, you will get mad. And they persecuted me uh, outwardly. But the Bible says, give thanks to God. So I used to give thanks to God. Angrily, I gave thanks to God for this and for that. It was not I didn't give. It was not that I gave thanks to God with all my heart, but I exercised my faith. The reason why we give thanks to God is God will. Uh, make all things work together for our good. That's why I, I exercised my faith. Then one day, uh, one day the Lord told me to apologize to teachers and to, to other students who were persecuting me. I didn't understand what the Lord meant at first. Well, my opponents uh, were about 10 times more as, as 10 times more as I had uh, people who stood with me. But the Lord uh, told me, spoke to me to apologize to them. I said to the Lord, but, the, but Lord, it is them that are bad. I, I didn't do any bad thing except just a small, about just a small thing, I resisted them. And the Lord told me to repent. Which I did, and I decided to apologize to them. And when I apologized to them, they ac accepted my apology, and they said, oh, yes, uh, yes. I, I was really feeling that I was just really feeling that I was not fair. But I apologized to them because the Lord told me to do so. And one change happened in the seminary. Uh, people stopped um, persecuting me. And 
So another thing that was amazing was that I, uh, I became a staff member of OSCCC by Pastor Rai. And the person who prosecuted me in my seminary, he was also uh, assigned to work uh, in the same place as I. And surprisingly, we uh, worked and ministered together. And when he was graduated from uh, university and was university, uh, we worked together. Uh, you know, we have been criticized by other Christians about prophecy, but uh, we never get even with them because the Lord tells us that some people will change their mind and accept prophecies in the future. And when I published a, a book called Prophecy, and a, a very famous pastor, a Japanese pastor, uh, uh, he read this book and called me. Uh, this person used to criticize me uh, for, for my being a charismatic Christian in my seminary. But he read my book, and he called me, and he said, now he's a pastor of another church. He says he would like to cooperate with me for God's work. So don't, uh, uh, don't panic and decide that you are not able to give thanks to God. One time, Bible was sent to me. It was a burnt Bible. I was so surprised. Burnt Bible. S some somebody burnt Bible and sent it to, to me, sent it to my house. So she must have been very mad. But af after that, she but she uh, started to obey God faithfully. So, uh, so we cannot criticize her because we usually we try to hurry up and we just see things from a short period of time. And there are things that we can't understand, but when we spend more time and live for a longer period, then we will clearly see God's plan and His blessings. Don't you think that all things, uh, God will, will, will make all things work together for our good? Uh, you know, the Lord loves you and the Lord will fulfill His word. Don't be deceived by Satan, making you think that the Lord is doing the worst for you. You will be blessed with the best things from God. So stand on His word, and then you'll see His glory. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for, for each one of us. You, you closed your ears to God's word, so you can't receive His word. Then you see His glory. A problem is, is you have a problem and you 
try to uh, see your problem, but because you haven't prayed, you can't look at it in the right way. So pray, then God will lead you to uh, understand the problem. And the Lord also said that let's, let's pray for healing. イエスキリストの皆によって、お前たちが命くださいイエスキリストの皆によって、お前たちが命くださいイエスキリストの皆によって、お前たちが命くださいイエスキリストの皆によって、お前たちが命くださいイエスキリストの皆によって、お前たち
で誰でも参加できます。で飛行機代は現在16万8180円ですけれども、その都度取りお安くなる場合もありますが、直前になると高くなる可能性があります。詳しくは掲示から流れている水ミッションのホームページをご覧ください。お申し込みは JAG1 までお願いします。レスミカーミュージックからのお知らせですゴスペルシードの新しい CD が発売となっております9曲収録されております皆さんお買い求めくださりお待ちくださいよろしくお願いしますはい、あ、どうぞ本内でにあるミュージシャンからのお知らせです月